I'm Aishwarya and welcome back to the Team Kitchen. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment saying I subscribed uh, and I will try my best to respond to all your comments personally. If you are ready, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. Ivy God is also known as Kovakai in Tamil. Let's take a pan or a kadai and add 1 tablespoon of oil to it. Now let's allow the oil to heat it up. Once the oil is heated, let's add 3 onions sliced. Now let's saute it until the onions turn golden brown or until they turn translucent. And now let's add 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. You can also add chopped ginger and garlic. Now let's give it a good mix. The, now the onions are cooked. Let's add 3 tomatoes cut into half. Now let's saute it until the tomatoes turn soft and mushy. Once the tomatoes are cooked, let's turn off the flame and le now let's transfer it to a blender and add water and grind it to a fine paste. Let's keep this aside and take another pan or a kadai. And now let's add 3 tablespoons of oil to it. Now let's allow the oil to heat it up. Once the oil is heated, let's add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and 1 teaspoon of urad dal. Let it splatter. Let's add few curry leaves. And now let's add 250 grams of ivy gourd approximately cut into thin slices. Now let's uh, saute it. Now we are going to cook it until it is soft. If you want to check how, uh, if you want to check whether it is cooked or not, simply take a knife and try to pierce it. If it pierces easily, it means it's cooked. If not, cook it again. Now let's add salt to taste and let's give it a good mix. And now let's close and cook it. So after it had cooked, let's add the grinded paste and let's also add water if required and let's give it a good mix. Next comes the seasoning. Let's add half tablespoon of red chili powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi powder, one fourth teaspoon of garam masala. And half teaspoon of coriander powder. Let's give it a good mix. And now let's cook it for some more time or until it is thick. So now our gravy is cooked. Look how thick it is. Let's add half tablespoon of butter. This is optional but uh, the butter melts and give it a good taste. I really like it. Check out the description box for more Indian gravy recipes. Do try out this recipe and let me know how it came in the comment section below. You can follow me on Instagram at the Dean Kitchen. Give this video a thumbs up. Share to your friends and family. Leave your suggestions and comments in the comment section below. And subscribe my channel for more such recipes. I'll be back with more recipes. Bye.